Hold on. Do I even have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. What's it called? Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Danielle Gervino and I am the blogger behind Pineapple and Prosecco. And today I'm going to be showing you a Photoshop tutorial for how to outline an image. Now, Photoshop scares a lot of people away. It scared me away for many, many years. And it is kind of scary, but Photoshop's really kind of all about trial and error, which is what I've learned um, through, I was gonna say through the years, but not really, because I haven't even been working with it for that long. So I will say that if you just follow along with the steps today, it's super simple. You do not have to be an expert in order to follow along and learn how to do this edit. So I am going to be taking you through a Photoshop tutorial today of how to create some cool outlines and graphics for your photos. So your first thing that you need to do is just import whatever photo you're going to be working with into Photoshop. And once that is there, you are going to go ahead over to your tools panel on the left hand side and you are going to grab your selection tool and it looks like a little paintbrush with a dotted line around it. Now this tool is going to allow you to select your image and what you're basically doing is you're selecting the part of your image that you want to outline now up here you can play with your brush size so this is quite large or you can make it super small i kind of like to keep mine around the 50s just so i can be pretty accurate with the selection and so you want to make sure that your plus is selected and just as a little trick as you're going through and you're outlining, which Photoshop is pretty good about recognizing where the edges are in your photo, but sometimes something like this will happen. All you need to do is click on the Alt key and you'll see that that little plus turns to a minus. And so make sure you're holding down that Alt key and you can let it go when you're ready to continue to outline again. So that Alt key will help take away your selection and when you see the plus, it will help make your selection. Now, it does not have to be like totally, totally perfect because we're just doing an outline here. And if we were like Photoshopping a background or something like that, I would definitely say to make sure everything's like super outlined and, and really like on point, but you really don't have to worry too much about it. So I think this looks pretty good from here and the first step that you're going to take is you're gonna come all up over to your select menu and you're gonna go down to modify and smooth. And I like to smooth mine by about 10 to 15. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in and click okay. And that just kind of smooths out your line. It's not very visible, but I promise it's happening. So you're gonna go back up to your select menu and I like to go and expand my line just by a little bit. You can see kind of in the corner here that you can see a little bit of my hair. And so I don't want that line to kind of cut anything off. And I'm going to just go ahead and expand it by 10. And you'll see that it just kind of pops out a tiny, tiny bit, which will give room for your line to kind of fill in later. And so once this is all done, you are going to go ahead up, back up to select one more time, and you're going to go all the way down to save selection. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this selection one, and just click okay. And we will be working with that a little bit later. So next step in getting your outline is to create a work path. And to do that, all you need to do is right click and select make work path. Now this little box comes up and it asks you to set the tolerance. And what this basically means is the lower the tolerance, the more exact your selection is gonna be. And the higher the tolerance, the less exact your selection will be. So let me just show you for example, if I set my tolerance to the max, which is 10, you'll see that my points aren't quite really like outlining where my sunglasses come out and there are some areas that are just a little bit sloppy. So I'm going to go ahead and click command Z to undo and I'm going to 
leave my tolerance around three. And you can see that that just makes a much more accurate selection. So once that's done, you're now going to go back over to your panel on the side and you're going to go down to your pen tool. You're going to select your pen tool and you are going to toggle up, make sure that path is selection. And what you're making now is a shape. So you're just going to go ahead and click on shape. And don't be alarmed if this happens. You just have to manipulate your shape and take out the background. And this is where you're going to put your outline in. So go a few down over to shapes and you're going to select your rectangle tool. And up here is where you can decide what you want your fill to be and your stroke, which is the same thing as your outline. And I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is going to set my fill to transparent. And there you can see your image again. And then I'm going to go over to my stroke. And for the purposes of today, let's just make it like this peachy pink. Now you notice that you can't see it right away. And that's because it is super small. So you're going to go over the pixels and you'll see I can make it super big or kind of medium. I usually like to keep mine, I think like around 10 or 15. So I'm going to stick with 10 today. And then if you go over to your line, this is where you can do your dotted line, dashed line, kind of, you can click on options and you can play around with your gaps in the dashes. I'm just going to stick to a regular dashed line for today. I'm going to toggle back up to my move tool and just click on the any outside area. And there we have your first outline. So now we're going to go ahead and work on the second outline. And that's where that saved selection is going to come in. So what I want to do first is I'm going to toggle over to my background and I'm going to duplicate the layer just so I can be working on something clean and make sure that that background copy is selected. You'll still see all of your other work here because these layers are selected too. If you did hide them, you would just, um, they would just temporarily disappear, but I kind of like to see everything I'm working with all at once. So I'm going to toggle back up to select and you are going to load your selection and it should come right up. Um, you just make sure that your selection one or whatever you named it is what is, uh, it matches your channel. You're going to click OK. And there you have that selection comes right back up. Now you don't want to put your lines right on top of each other. So you're going to go back up to your select menu and you're going to click modify and you're going to click expand. Now, last time we expanded by 10 pixels. So we want to definitely make that number bigger. Um, so let's go with 25 and you can always go back and edit this by just going back up to the select and expand menu. And I think that looks good. So this is where my new line is going to be. Now from here, it's really just about re repeating the same steps as before. So make sure that your selection tool is selected. All, otherwise, you won't be able to start this process. Um, once it's selected, you're going to right click. You're going to make your work path. And you can keep your tolerance from before. And you'll see that the same thing happens. You're going to go all the way over to your pen tool. You're going to click shape. It's going to make that shape for you. And then you're going to edit your shape. And in order to do that, you're going to go over to your rectangle tool, your shape tool, go back up to your fill, make it transparent, and then you can put your stroke in. And I'm going to go ahead and stick with the same color as before. I'm going to also stick with the same thickness as before. And this time I'm going to keep my line straight. So to see the finished product, I'm just going to click on my move tool and click on anywhere out here. And that kind of clears my canvas and that's it. So for this particular edit, once I was done with the outline, I decided that I was going to use an outside app. You can certainly put doodles into your Photoshop and I often do that, but I kind of wanted to switch it up for this one. So I used an app called a design kit. I will link that right here. I don't even know if that works. I'm not a YouTuber, so can I link it? I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you see the link, then it works. And so I literally just took a stylus and I sketched some hearts. I colored them in and finished my edit off with that. 
So if you guys have any questions at all, leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. Make sure to subscribe for new videos. I've been getting a lot of editing requests, so I am kind of working on deciding which ones that you guys want to see most of and which ones I should do first and so on and so forth. Um, so stay tuned for those and thanks for watching.